Hello and welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's in the box when you order your SenseCap M1 Helium Network hotspot. For the sake of transparency, I want to point out that the SenseCap M1 hotspot that I'm going to show in this video has been provided to me by SeedStudio.com. In other words, this video is sponsored by SeedStudio.com. SenseCap is one of the currently 25 brands of hotspot manufacturers that are live in quotes on the Helium Network blockchain and allow you to earn Helium or in short HNT for providing coverage to Helium's LoRaWAN network. At the time of recording this video, 56,300 free hotspots out of all 439,524 are SenseCaps, which makes SenseCap hotspots responsible for more than 10% of the current coverage achieved by Helium Network. Unfortunately, just like with pretty much every single other hotspot manufacturer, the SenseCap M1 is currently sold out at SeedStudio.com and all you can do is opt in to get notified once it's back in stock. You can find a link to the SenseCap M1 product page in the description and the first pinned comment down below. That said, while I get that it can be annoying to see that waiting times to get your own hotspot are partially extreme, I consider this a good sign because it means that the demand for Helium Network hotspots is incredibly high and that as a result the overall coverage offered by Helium Network is growing rapidly as well, which in turn means that Helium Network also should become more and more attractive to IoT device manufacturers. And you might be wondering why this is important. Well, while most people focus right now on the earnings they receive for something called proof of coverage, which means you get paid when your hotspot can witness the signal of other hotspots and vice versa, Helium Network is actually going to fade those rewards out over the next roughly 20 years, at which point earnings will come from actual data transfers from IoT devices that get forwarded by your hotspot to the internet and to whichever place the IoT manufacturer wants to send the data to. In other words, earnings with Helium are going to get lower and lower right now because of adjustments to the reward structure, halvings that happen from time to time, and also obviously because of the huge amount of new hotspots that join Helium Network daily. To give you a better example, back in February 2021, when I first published a video about Helium Network, which you can by the way find by clicking on the card up here, there were only around 100,000 hotspots online. Now, 10 months later, we are looking at close to half a million hotspots already and the number of orders that have yet to be shipped by most hotspot manufacturers make it clear that that growth won't stop anytime soon. Anyways, enough about how Helium works and how earnings are going to be affected in the future. Let's take a look at the SenseCap M1 hotspot and what you'll get when you order yours. The first thing you'll notice when we look at the SenseCap M1 hotspot box is obviously the reflection of our ceiling lamp, which is something I cannot do much about. But as you see, it's still wrapped in plastic. So I have my tape cutter here, whatever it's called in English. And we're just gonna open or cut the plastic to actually unbox that pretty device. And just gonna rip the rest open. There we go. Put the knife back and let's see. So remove the rest of the plastic. There we go. And you can still see parts of the reflection of the ceiling light, but with that we actually have the box ready for the unboxing now. I haven't opened the box yet, as you notice based on the plastic wrapping, so I have no idea what's inside besides the hotspot itself. So let's take a look. Well, the first thing we see, which is actually nice, just like with some of the other hotspots that we already reviewed and unboxed on this channel, but not with all of them, is that there is actually a quick start guide. And unlike other hotspots that serve them in a booklet, you actually have six easy steps to get your hotspot set up. Basically download the Helium app, plug in the hotspot, push a button to be able to pair it with the phone or actually to find it with the phone. In the phone then go to add hotspot, find your hotspot or select your hotspot, pair it and then follow the rest of the setup and you're done. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There is nothing else to that. So just one page and after that we have some protective layers and there we already have our hotspot. And I know it's hard to judge based on the video how big that hotspot actually is. Uh, if we were to compare it with the very popular and very widespread Cultchip or Rock V2, then actually in comparison that one would be like this, although it would likely be higher. So if we take out the hotspot right now, we can see we have the logo on top. There is nothing other than 
air inlet or outlet on this side. On the back side, we have the power plug, the mount for the or connector for the antenna, the button to probably trigger the Bluetooth pairing and the ethernet port. We can also see because like most other hotspots, this one apparently also is based or using a Raspberry Pi main board that behind that air outlet here, we can see the original USB ports that are currently covered and anyway serve no purpose with the hotspot itself. With that, we actually have everything we need. On top of that, we have our power adapter here, which uses USB type C, which is not that common for all hotspots, but it's obviously a newer standard in quotes. Apple uses it for all the new MacBooks and so on. So it shouldn't be so hard to get a replacement plug if you ever need one. And last but not least, the last important thing we have in here is the antenna that makes it possible for you to actually earn helium. Now this specific antenna here and this specific hotspot is for the European region. So it's for 868 megahertz and it comes by default with a 2.8 dBi antenna. Whereas if you order the US version, which is on 915 megahertz, the default antenna will be 2.6 dBi. There is however no special reason why the hotspots for the US and Europe ship with different antenna signal strengths or at least I am not aware of a special reasons. But to be fair, it shouldn't make much of a difference if you use a 2.6 or a 2.8 dBi antenna. That's it, that's all that's in the box, everything you need to run your hotspot. You might still need an ethernet wire if you wanna connect it via ethernet, but like many other hotspot, obviously the hotspot also supports Wi-Fi. So you don't necessarily need the ethernet wire. So we can close the box and that's it. That's what you get once you order your SenseCap M1 hotspot. As mentioned, you can find a link to the Seed Studio product page in the description and the first pinned comment down below. And depending on when you're watching this video, you might be lucky and be able to order one straight away, or at least you'll be able to get notified once they're in stock again. As always, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, or even better, use the link in the description or the pinned comment down below to join our Discord community and discuss SenseCap, Helium Network, and other projects with me and the community there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.